Well, it's something most of us don't pay attention to, but now we better. We're talking about the kind of refrigerant your air conditioner uses. Here with more is Travis Hill with One Hour Heating and Air. Wow, you know, Travis, yeah. most of us don't even know anything about refrigerant in our AC units. So why should we be paying attention to that? Well, the biggest reason is there's two type of re residential refrigerants. So you got your R22 and your 410A. And your R22 is your older refrigerant. Um, and what we have is that's been, the, the government and the environmentalists have been working to phase that out over the last few years. And coming up in 2020, that will be no longer available to us. So f for most people who don't know what refrigerant is, what, refri what does refrigerant do? How, what, how does it help your home? What does it do? Well, it's actually inside your system. So it has, what's the, what system are we talking so about? So your air conditioning okay, unit. Yes, and sometimes your, it works on both sides for your heat pump units. Um, well, what that is, it actually helps cool the home. It's what's in the house, just like your car has refrigerant in it as well for your air conditioning unit. Well, it's the same thing inside your air conditioning unit in your home. So how do we determine what type of refrigerant that we may have? Well, you can ask your service provider, but also with the, uh, there's a, uh, on your condenser unit on the outside, it actually is labeled on the service panel. It'll have whether it's R22 or 410A. Okay, and back to the question, mm -hmm. why does that even matter? Yeah. If I have 410, if I have R22, who cares? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Well, for efficiency purposes, your 410A is going to be the more efficient Freon uh, refrigerant in your unit. But also with R22, if you're having a problem where you're having to put it in, it's also bad for the environment, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, it's, it's while you're leaking that refrigerant out, it's leaking oil, which is also bad for the unit. So it's going to cost you more money to run it because the efficiency is going to go down. So what if my, here it is. So what if my uh, my home is using R22? Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me I have all that stuff I have to worry about? Yes, sir. It is it, because it, it, it's a closed unit. So you want to make sure if you're losing it and you just get someone to add it back, it's really not doing anything but costing you more money in the long run. Okay. Now here's the big question: mm -hmm. Will I eventually have to go ahead and replace it if I have the R22? Yes. If you what you got to be careful with with large repairs or if it's leaking, it would be time to replace that equipment because to to fix that leak would probably cost you as just as much as putting in that unit. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, here it is. That's why you're here. How can one hour help? Well, call us and we can definitely come out and give you a free estimate and free evaluation of your unit. And there's no, and also, so how long have they been using the 410? So if anybody has a home dated, what date, what time, would they be using 410 automatically or are they still R22? What is that cutoff time? Uh, typically around your six to eight year mark, you could have 410 or R22. It just, it just all depends on uh, which one they put in at that time. Anything from the last five, six years, you're going to be pretty much a 410A. Oh, mm -hmm. so the last point. Oh, so I'm good. But if I'm back in the 80s and 90s, yes, sir. I may have R22? Yep, and even early 2000s. In 2000, and mm -hmm. I may have to call you. Yes, sir. All right. Well, call one hour today to schedule a free estimate on replacing your HVAC system. The number is 704-814-7283. 704 704-814-7283. 814-7283 to set up an appointment or visit onehourac.com. That's mm -hmm. onehourac.com. Travis, yep. thank you very much. Thank you.